Welcome to this video about creating a search component in Blazor. I will start by creating a new Blazor component. I call it search component. This component will expect a string as parameter. I just realized I make the zoom a bit bigger. Call it search word. That's to have public gather and a setter, which we have. Then I'm going to create a new type. I call it word. It will have three properties. Why exactly am I creating a type? I think it will get clearer uh, afterwards. Now here I have a, a property of type boolean, which will indicate if it's searched for. And then I'm again going to create a property of type boolean, which will indicate if the word is highlighted or not. Then I'm going to create a list of words. I'm choosing a list because the list has the for each method, which will come in handy afterwards. Then in the initialized lifecycle method, I first initialize the list and then I split the search word up. So the idea is that the search word is like a whole sentence or a, a whole text. Uh, oh yeah. To create a new word in the object initializer, I'm only going to set the word here and the other two properties will be false by default, which is the water behavior. Now, now I'm going to create two, two fully implemented properties. The first one of type string, second one of type int. Why will, uh, why I am doing this, I will tell you in a moment. Now the second one of type int, Now, in the first one here, the set method is the important one. So whenever we change the value, we want the, the things to happen. For every element in this list, we are going to reset the search for to false. And then here, we just say, if the if the length of the string that we want to search is uh, bigger than two, so we don't search uh, very sh uh, short inputs. We only search if they have a certain length. We are just going to reassign the words, but we are going to change the collection a bit. We representing the word, so. Here we are using the ternary operator. And here I have to call to list. So what are we doing here? Here I am asking if the word in the text that we have uh, received or the parameter contains the word that we want to search for, then we are saying search for equals true. And when not, then search for equals to false, because if you don't set it, then it's false by default. So that's that. Now, of course, somehow we have to display everything here. First, I just create a label. Here in this label, uh, I say search for. Here, that's the input that we are going to bind to the search. Uh, how is it called? Yeah, the naming is not perfect. 
Okay, it's search lowercase. The event will be on input, otherwise we'll just search if we uh, have, if the input has lost focus. And then here I'm going to style it. So now here I'm creating the the section where we are going to display the text that we have searched. Give it a bit of margin. So five columns wide. Here we are displaying the total, the count of total occurrences of the word that we uh, have searched for. Now, because I'm going to use this again and again, I'm going to create here a new property. It will be uh, read only, so get only. I call it a uh, found word count equals to words where as search for dot count. Now here I'm just going to pause the found word count. Now, if the found word count is bigger than is equal to one or uh, if is the found word count is equal to one or bigger, then we are also going to display an input field where we can um, iterate through the found words. So everything I'm, I'm saying to you now is very abstract, but you will see shortly how it looks and how it works. Again, bind event is on input. Form, form, control. Now minimum of the of the numbers we display is one, and the maximum is, as you may have guessed, the found word count. So it's uh, and then in here, yeah, just quickly also going to create a label. Here, just display the number and then and then again the found word count so that we just know where we are. And then here I'm displaying all the words in the in the search word. Here, again, search word can be a text, can be a sentence. Now, if item is highlighted, so I have copied this here. Now, you may ask yourself, uh, is highlighted where have we defined this and we haven't defined it yet? But we will eventually. But before I'm going to define it first, I'm going to change here. And here we just style it uh, normal with a transparent background. So now here, that's the number that we are binding to. What do we need to uh, do here? Again, everything here is written in the setter. And again, as we have done it with the, with the word, we are just going to call for each and highlight it. We are going to reset it to false everywhere. And then we can just uh, where as search for. So here we want to, here we want that the user can uh, 
can iterate over all the words that have been found. And so we want to skip uh, number minus one because it uh, starts with index zero. And then we just say is highlighted. Uh, then we take the first one out and say is highlighted or the highlighted equals to true. So let's have, oh no, first before I can show it to you, uh, of course I have to uh, reference the component from somewhere. I do this here, search component, and then here search word, and because sometimes IntelliSense has problems picking up the string, I'm defining the string here. Okay. I'm pausing the string here. Now let's have a look, and I hope it will get a bit clearer what we have built, especially the last part with the number. Okay, so okay, so we see now seven total occurrences. Now. Uh, why can't I? Okay, here, what did I? Is it input? Um, okay, of course, I have to say it input type number. So, Okay, we see seven occurrences. We start by one, and then the second one, the third one, yeah. You may know it from Google Chrome and, and the browsers when you, where you can like uh, just iterate over all the, the found uh, words on a site. Uh, so thank you very much for your attention.